As I said earlier, uh, showbiz royalty joining us, uh, the daughter of uh, Martin Balsam and uh, Joyce Van Patten. She's been our in our TVs for uh, for years and years. Uh, great shows, as I mentioned, Hill Street Blues, uh, Family Ties, 30-something, Larry Sanders Show, Madman, Homeland. Now she's on HBO's Divorce, and she's got a new movie out called South Mountain. Please welcome Talia Balsam. Hey, thanks for doing this. Oh, happy to be here. All right. So uh, we've, been, uh, we've been talking to a lot of folks about uh, the way, uh, you know, uh, television and movies have been going lately, and... You know, we find out that, uh, what was it, uh, one of the Hemsworth brothers had uh, something on Netflix that, like, broke all kinds of uh, records. So, are, do you think anybody's going back to the theater at all, Talia? Uh, someone asked me that. I hope so. I mean, I don't mean soon. Um, I was actually like, are we going to end up in drive-ins, uh, you know, yeah, uh, in our cars? I mean, I, I don't think anytime soon, and I think that this... Streaming. I mean, the Netflix and all of it, at least it's making things available, but, you know, there are certain things, communal experiences, and even with this movie, we were so lucky to be at South by Southwest last year, Mm -hmm. actually experience that, and I'm really happy about that because uh, it, it takes on a different life that way, and, you know, there are different experiences, watching something alone, watching something with people. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, the good news is they're all, they're getting seen, so that's that's good. But I like, you know, some version of I don't know. Everything's a big question mark, right? <laughs> it is. Yeah, and I, you know, I wonder. It's because it's, uh, and I don't want to dwell on it too long because we want to talk about you know South Mountain. But oh yeah, um, I'm just uh, I'm I'm worried that people are going to be worried, and it and you know. Uh, yeah. things have to change fast and then all of a sudden nobody's you know theaters close and then there isn't any theaters to go to and and I, I worry if people are going to miss that because you're right about the experience but you know I'm really excited I, we're, you know we're living at this time where we're not delaying things coming out we're just putting them into our hands in a different way everyone is adapting to this and we don't know how long this is going to be and so it's kind of wonderful that we still can take in all these wonderful shows and stories like South mountain from the comfort of our own home yeah yes but i think you're right i'm wondering if we were headed that way anyway Mm -hmm. theaters were closing down and you know maybe this will make maybe it'll have the opposite effect maybe it'll make people go you know what maybe when this is all somewhere down the line go you know what i actually do want to go back to this Mm -hmm. um as they were disappearing so we'll see all right we're here with talia balsam and uh the uh, uh, the movie is Cold Mountain or South Mountain, and I, I I have to say that you know you look at uh, you look at Talia's IMDb. Oh, it will I scroll mean, for days. You, it's incredible all that you were in, and I I just wanted to make that point. We don't want to do a Chris Farley interview here like you did with Paul McCartney, <laughs> but uh, but it's it's crazy how much you've done, and uh, I don't want to get too cliche, but you know, you bring all of that with you into this new movie, South Mountain. Uh, what drew you to the project? Um, I'll tell you, you know, I mean, it, it, and it, my agents brought it to me, and I had just come off a uh, HBO show, Divorce, which is a very different sort of um, character, and um, it came up very quickly. And when I read it, it was so beautifully written, but I have to say, when I read it, I saw that this was a woman. My son was about to go off to college, and I was really sort of like going, what is, you know, the idea of him not being around anymore and that sort of empty nest thing? And that's why this movie struck a chord with me, because this woman, you know, I think things come to you for a reason, and I think this woman was sort of, in this context, was grappling with people leaving and her not having much choice and having really invested in this sort of, you know, utopian... um, world she had made and um people were leaving and i think i related to that you know somehow (laughs) and now we can't get rid of the kids because you know (laughs) now everyone's back Mm everyone everyone's back and you know now we we could have went off on another tangent there about uh you know uh institutions of higher learning and if they're going to survive but uh so Uh we you know when when someone like you is involved in a project like this, we we always it sort of seems to bring more credibility to it, and and I don't mean that to be flattering necessarily, although I I hope it is. But 
um, you know, there's there's a lot of fare out there, uh, whether it's series or movies or anything like that. Why why is this an important film? And I don't, I'm not challenging you to tell me what it is, but what is it about this film that's really going to, uh, and I, you, you sort of alluded to it, but that's really going to strike a chord with the public? Well, with the public, I can't speak to so much. I can say for me, there was a woman director. We are in a very limited uh, financial, you know, like to make something so good, such a good script with such a, a small full, uh, footprint was very challenging to me. But I think in terms of like appealing to, I think everyone has uh, to deal with some sort of loss or struggle to, you know, reaffirm their self-worth or, you know, what that means to kind of, go into the next phase of your life and I think in this movie I don't mean to make it sound so sort of you know this woman is you know a little bit erratic so there's you know a man who's brought a new baby into the family who's her husband and it sort of deals with what do you accept from people you know what she has accepted for so long and what can no longer be and I think it's a very internal movie it's and um, you know I mean that she ends up doing some things that probably is a person who's not acting at her best. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, we can all we can all relate to that. I'll tell you that. Well, listen, we we really appreciate you doing this uh, today. South Mountain, uh, iTunes, Amazon Instant Video, Google Play, Xbox, Vudu, Fandango, In Demand, uh, 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 now and uh, Directv, Dish Network. Uh, you can pretty much see it wherever you want, and uh, we always enjoy seeing you in whatever you do. So thanks again for for doing this. Uh, Talia Balsam, everybody. Thanks, Talia. Thank you so much.